Hi, I'm Ben Lumsden, and I am the head of studio here at the Imaginarium. Imaginarium was set up with the premise that we could be a centre of excellence for the art and craft of performance capture in Europe. Performance capture is a fantastic technique, it's a fantastic set of tools that gives you life and soul going into a character. It works in conjunction with traditional keyframe animation which is in itself a fantastic skill set. But performance capture, I would say, is a new art form, or relatively new, certainly in the world of films and video games. We're really excited to be working with Cloud Imperium Games on this fantastic project, Star Citizen. It's a really exciting project for us to be involved in, um, working with Chris, who's a visionary, and his fantastic team, who have a huge scale and ambition for, for what's a very exciting project. My name is Steve Bender and I'm the animation director at Cloud Imperium Games. One of our goals in Star Citizen is to create as realistic of a world that we can. One of those ways of doing that is to utilize motion capture and performance capture as a tool to allow us to be able to create a whole lot of motions, a whole lot of situations, whether you're on a planet that's very wealthy or religious or a nightclub or things like that. That gives us the ability to make a whole lot of content and to make unique experiences on each planet. Hi, my name is Michael Barclay. I'm the lead level designer at Pleasant Dream. So as lead level designer, I've been brought down to consult on the environments that we've worked on at CIT, trying to add as much expertise as I can to you know, guide the motion sets that we can do with our band, where the performance is actually. Shot. You know, what kind of atmosphere and what kind of uh, emotion we're trying to convey in this part of the so, First time I've been on a motion set. Yeah. Bill Bella. Yeah, so we've done so much this week. Exactly the way it works. Yeah, right. Over. It's, it's just the process involved. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll go off and write a, you know, like a list of items, but we'll just go funky. You know, like a parrot walks up the door and but then, like, Steve's right over here, and now he's getting more info. And then, like, what's the backstory to the Why is he thinking of it? Yeah, he's got some fun. He's got some fun. He's got some fun. fun. I'm basically to be writing uh, most of the scripts, characters, planets, backgrounds sort of heading up that aspect and you know, working with the design team and stuff like that. I've only been on one motion capture shoot before, but it's just it's really fascinating to see uh, how immediately you can see the humanity brought into CG characters uh, and, you know, particularly the guys here in the best, best environments. They're just seeing the levels that the UK is creating over the past few months. The really exciting thing about this project for us is that we're streaming directly in engine using our pre-visualization tools where we're streaming a, a virtual skeleton using our motion capture straight into the motion program which in itself then streams to uh, the engine, the game engine. And you can see in real time very close to the final result. It's been an exciting uh, week in the sense that we're, we're learning different things about the way that we're going to be working together. One thing that excited me a lot uh, over the last couple of days was uh, Mike Barkley who's been sitting on the sandbox machine and he's, he's the level designer. He's actually been designing levels uh, in a remote way independent of what we've been doing on set. And that's a, a very cool, new and interesting way of working that has never been done before. Being able to see the characters move around the environments um, with the high fidelity animation, uh, which is being streamed to the engine at real time, uh, has been a massive help for us. Uh, the level designers get to see how the characters are actually going to engage with the space, and we can go back into the right space to continue to develop those spaces. And now the challenge for us is to make sure that our environment meet the fidelity of the animations that we see, so we can control the space the thing that motion capture gives us, especially with human characters and in our combat, in our persistent universe and things like that, is it allows us to work with experienced actors and talent that are able to bring their personal experiences and their personal knowledge to whatever it is that we're doing. 
be very interesting to see what the actors bring to the performance. You know, in your, in your head you'll picture like, you know, how you kind of do it, but then, you know, when you see a pro do it, it brings a lot more to the table. You know, it's all the little touches, it's all the little things they do, and uh, you do pick up on it. Yeah, the interesting thing about, the, you know, putting a script in the hand of, a, of an actor, I've been sitting with these months now, you know, the idea, the characters, the backgrounds, the locations, all that stuff, and then you give it to an actor who's coming into it fresh, so they, they actually ask a lot of interesting questions, and, you have taken for granted because you know, you remember three drafts ago where you addressed, you know, their dying kitty, which made them turn into life of crime, but you got rid of it since then, but that's always lingered in the back of your head. So seeing how people come to material fresh is always really interesting. And then also subsequently their, their interpretation of it. What nuances do they bring to the performance that, that make it their own and, and really make it for their body? In our second week of motion capture at the Imaginarium, we're gonna focus primarily on combat. And to do that, we're bringing in some very experienced combat soldiers and a military advisor to help create interesting situations and interesting results that we might not otherwise get by just going a sort of traditional AI way. We've been talking about how do we realize some of the aliens and start this. And one of the things that we're going to test on the motion capture set is what happens if we have a experienced stunt actor come in and work through some of these motions for the aliens. Uh, what is it that the Xi'an look like? How is it that they move? And what is the regality of them or the barbarianism of them? Um, what about the Van Duel or other characters within the Star Citizen universe? We will also spend a whole lot of time in doing uh, pre-visualization so that from an animation and from a design standpoint, we're able to do a lot of motions that are not singular motions, but they're all together in a particular performance or in a particular, if you would, if you're shooting like a movie scene or something like this. And then we can take those things and we can bring them to our design team, to our animation teams, to our code teams, and we can say, this is what we're looking for. This is going to be magic in the game. And how do we do that? How do we make that happen? Here at the Imaginarium, we have some of the best performance capture and motion capture talent in the world. We're so excited by this project. It's a fantastic project, enormous in its scope. And we know that we can really do it justice by bringing fantastic world-class uh, facilities and techniques and tools to this amazingly ambitious project.